Hello, Stampers! I am Kelly Atchison coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. We are live tonight. I am so excited to be stamping with you. Happy May Day, everybody! I thought it was really cool. Somebody reminded me today that it was May Day, and of course I knew it was May 1st, but I didn't put it together, you know. <laughs> Sometimes those things are hard. <laughs> Hi, Wendy! Hi, Rhonda! Welcome! Oh my goodness, it is a dreary evening. It's been raining all day today, yesterday, here in Wisconsin. It's it's not cold, cold, but it's not very nice out. Hi, Judy, thank you for the share. Sharon, welcome. So, did you guys see the picture of, um, I put a picture on my mom's painting project this weekend. My mom's been here since Thursday night. And she has been at a painting class. She likes to do rose mauling, which is a Scandinavian art form. And they do a lot of line art. And um, she's been at a class Friday all day, Saturday all day, and today all day. And she came home, well, back to my house, and um, shared her project with me. So pretty, right? Hi, Nancy from Southern Wisconsin, is that what that just said? Nancy, I don't remember where you live. Hang on a second. Southwest, Southwest Wisconsin. Okay, welcome. Oh, and we've got Danny here from Tucson, and we've got Margaret from Illinois. Chris is popping in. Welcome, welcome. Cindy's here. So what did you guys have for supper tonight? Uh, we just ate a little while ago. We had nachos. Steve made food before he left. He left on Friday morning. He went to South Park and um, he's doing some work in the garage up there. And he's also on a mission to kill the mice in my summer home. He said he took some bananas in and set them in the camper and he was working in the garage all day and when he came back in, the mouse had eaten on the bananas. Yeah, so I told him in no uncertain terms that he was not to leave South Park until he found and destroyed the mice in the camper. Don't come home. Don't come home until they're gone. So... We'll see what happens there, right? Oh my goodness. Yeah, everybody's saying very talented, pretty painting. Yeah, she does a really good job. She's very good at it. Um, she used to do oil painting and now this, this is acrylic painting. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. I'm seeing somebody had peas for supper. We had nachos. So Steve cooked before he left. He made up some cheeseburgers. He made up taco meat, and then me and my mom went to the store and got a, just a couple things. Oh, Donna had cube steak, yum. And um, we put the chips all over the plate and put the taco meat all over it, and I got some nacho cheese melted and um, red peppers and green onions and what else is on there? Sour cream. Yeah, oh, delicious, delicious. Yeah, Connie says she hopes Steve gets those yucky mice. I'm telling you, I'm so, like, I don't want to have to clean up that disaster again. You know what I'm saying? So I told him, you need to find those mice. Like, they can't stay in there. They're going to wreck everything. God darn it. Why? Why? <laughs> Who got their new catalog? Ah! I know that if you're a demonstrator discount shopper, you've already gotten your catalog. We got it quite a while ago, right? But if you're not, who got your catalog? So can't hardly wait. Tuesday, May 3rd, these go live to the public. So you are able to order out of this baby on Tuesday at, I believe, 3 a.m. Mountain Time is when Stampin' Up! is hoping that all of the buttons will be turned on. So we're super excited about that. Um, what else did I wanna to talk to you about that? Tomorrow is May 2nd, and that is the last day to order from the last chance list. Now there's some things that are on up to 50% off on that last chance list. It used to be called our retirement list, but now it's the last chance list. So um, tomorrow is the last day to get those items and you know so that's cool 
The other thing I wanted to tell you about, oh, I've got some things right here, is the All Together Bundle. Remember this, the All Together with the fun black and white paper. This is extended to May 1st. So um, we had all of these uh, skin tone stamp and blend markers that were part of this promotion and we had some supply problems. We couldn't get them, we ran out of them too fast. So um, they weren't available for a while and now Stampin' Up! has them back in stock again and they're going to extend this. So just so you know, this is called All Together and this is called All Together Designer Series Paper Black and White awesome awesome six by six pack of black and white so wanted to make sure you know about that then on tuesday when our catalog goes live the new catalog there is one item that they told us about that is not available and it's called graceful tiles it's on page 113 in the new annual catalog hi sue sorrell i'm happy to see you here um, that stamp set is not available. So they're, they're keeping us, trying to keep us updated as, uh, they see issues come up and so far that's it. Yeah. So who just said May 1st, May 1st, that's today. Today's May 1st. Yes. May 2nd is the last day. Oh, oh, about the all together. Oh, maybe it's only extended to today. <laughs> now I feel dumb. <laughs> Thanks, Pam. Maybe somebody can look that up while we're on here. And <laughs> I wrote down May 1st. Maybe I wrote down the wrong date. Oh, I don't know. They just announced that it was extended. So um, anyways, you know what? Maybe I still have my screen up here and I can just take a look-see. Oh, I don't. Too bad. Okay, well, we'll figure that out. Somebody will tell us, right? Um, Graceful Tiles is not going to be available on Wednesday when the new catalog starts. Um, I do have a new host code. When we turn the camera around, you'll be able to see it on my desk. Just so you guys know, it's been updated. And, oh, I was going to tell my mom. You know what? Hang on. Hey, mom. Do you have that card from Luba? Yeah, it's in my bag. Can you bring it to me? Sure. Okay, so Luba who is always on here watching, right? Luba sends me some beautiful cards. She sends cards for Haley and Jared and the babies and me, Molly, Steve. She sent my mom a beautiful birthday card. So, um, and my mom already took it and put it in her stuff to take home. May 31st, okay, who just told me that? Vicki Edmondson said, that the all together is available until May 31st. Thank you, I must have just missed that three. <laughs> that happens, right? So um, anyways, I, I had a note here to get the card from my mom, that Luba. From say hi, mom. Say hi, everybody. Say hi, everybody, we're right hi. here. Hi, hi. Okay, you guys, I have to show you this card and then I'll give it back to you, so hang on. Okay. Ready? It was my mom's birthday and Luba sent this amazing card, you guys. <gasps> Isn't that, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And look at the envelope. Exactly. Look at the envelope. Oh my gosh. How pretty. Luba, you knocked it out of the park. As always, wouldn't have expected anything less. Thanks, mom. Thank you. Appreciate Bye. it. <laughs> Everybody's, hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> Okay, um, I do not have a report on John. Nothing has been happening with him, like just nothing. Um, I haven't seen him coming or going. I haven't seen anything going on over there. The cars are in the driveway. I'm assuming they're home. But I do have to say that I have been pretty preoccupied myself. Like it has been very, very busy. Um, I've had a lot of company. I was out of town last weekend. Was it last weekend? Um, I've been babysitting the babies a lot. I've had Val and Dawson. Haley went and had an MRI on her knee. And she'll get the report back on that tomorrow. So I had both babies. And then they've been coming over a lot because my mom's here. So that's really nice. And tomorrow morning, Haley and the babies are coming over for breakfast. So yay! Get some more of Valerie and Dawson fixes. Dawson is getting really big, you guys. Like, he's holding his head up. He's, like, such a big boy. Um, Valerie is still in not 
100% potty trained, but we are working on it. And she's, she doesn't seem to be very interested. Oh, Luba, you're here. Great. Woohoo. My mom loved the card. Like she couldn't stop gushing over it. So thank you so much. Um, uh, wanted to talk to you a little bit about the catalog kickoff. Um, Barb, Dina, and I are hosting a catalog kickoff. It gets started on Wednesday. It is going to last um, over two weeks, and it is a fun virtual experience. Um, all of the activity is happening on Facebook. However, if you are not, well, all of you are going to be on Facebook, but later when I have people watch from my blog and also watch from YouTube, some people aren't on Facebook. All of the classes are pre are recorded, not pre-recorded. They're going to be live, but they're recorded. And so if you order the make and take packet, which will be available uh, after the kickoff starts, we don't have it available yet. But when you order the make and take packet, um, you will get a PDF file with links to all of the projects. So I think there's going to be, don't quote me on this because I don't have my notes right here, but nine um, make and takes with this particular event. There's seven live classes. We have a special guest that is going to be presenting that I can't tell you who it is, but it is special, very special. You don't want to miss it. Um, there's going to be prize patrols, lots of giveaways, challenges, um, mystery stamping, game night, and like I said, everything is recorded. So if you're not a Facebook uh, member, you can still participate, order the make and take packet. The make and take packet is going to, along with, is going to have nine pre-cut cards in it to make for the make and takes, plus over $30 in new Stampin' Up! product. Ah, I love, love, love these catalog kickoffs. They're so much fun. There's going to be gallery uploads. So you're going to get like probably about 45 different ideas using new catalog product. These are so, so much fun. If you've never tried them, I highly encourage you to give them a whirl. The catalog kickoff is $15. That is a very small price to pay for seven live classes. All the fun, the prize patrols, the mystery stamping, the gallery uploads. Holy cow. $15 to attend the event. It's all online. It's all recorded. If you are a Stamp Happy Academy member, you get the catalog kickoff event for free. If you are um, on our teams, that means you're a Stamp Happy Academy member, you get the catalog kickoff for free. So you're going to find the, um, the uh, registration link on my blog, www.estampabuff.com. You're also going to find it on this Facebook page that you're on right now. And you just click on it and you go and sign up. If you're already um, in Stamp Happy Academy, you should have gotten an email. And um, that email will have a link to the Facebook group. Somebody just asked me, what is Prize Patrol? Well, that's giving away prizes. We do random drawings um, for prizes. Everybody that's registered gets put in drawings to win prizes. And we also have additional ways to win prizes. Card challenges, layout challenges, color challenges. We're not sure. I don't know what kind of challenges we're going to be doing yet. But there's going to be a couple card challenges. There's also going to be a swap. Just so much fun, you guys. $15. You will never be disappointed that you did this. So I just wanted to let you know that. Also, I've had a couple people contact me to ask if, if I had sent them a catalog. And I'm really glad those people did contact me because um, I found that they weren't on my catalog list for various different reasons. So I just wanted to explain that a little bit because I don't want anybody to get their feelings hurt. The, one of the people that contacted me, um, it was Lori, and she said, did my order in March qualify me to get a catalog? So here's how this works. I go and I do a report based on orders. And all of my orders in the last however many months I want to do it, I can, I can make those parameters four months, six months, a year. If you've ordered $50 from me within the last six months or so, whatever my parameters are, that pulls your name into a um, report. And then I take that and I, I put a, 
a, a little checkbox on everybody that comes up on that report and I tell Stampin' Up! send them catalogs and then I we have to pay I have to pay for those catalogs to be sent to you but sometimes what happens is this particular person she placed an order on the 30th of March and third the 30th is the very last day that I can do mailing selector to put everybody on my list so I probably closed it out that morning she placed an order that afternoon and then didn't get on my list, right? So that's how it happens. I just don't want anybody to feel like, well, I didn't even get a catalog from her. Please know that I will never do that on purpose, okay? Um, if, you, if you haven't gotten a catalog and you think you should be on my list, please contact me and I will check my list. And if you're not, I threw one in the mail to Lori and she'll be getting it probably tomorrow. So um, just wanted you to know, how that process takes place. I don't want anybody to think that you're not, um, you're not my friend on my list because it would be an oversight for sure. So I just wanted to let you know that. Okay, we have a joining special. And oh, I've got so much mail to show you guys. I'll probably show you half tonight and then half at another time because I don't wanna keep you and my moms here, you know, so I don't wanna. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see how, how this whole evening goes. I'm really excited. I've got a cool technique. We're going to be doing a black ice technique, which is very fun with some brand new product. And I looked in my, on my blog, I found black ice where I made it back in 2018. So that's been a long time ago, right? So I'm excited to revisit this technique. It's a cool one. I think you guys are going to love it. Hi, Cindy DeWitt. <laughs> Thank you for the share. Please make sure that you are clicking that thumbs up. Everybody click on that like button. Whether you're watching now or later on YouTube, you can click on the thumbs up button. That helps me out in the internet world of analytics. I don't understand it. I just know you're supposed to do it. <laughs> then, um, I feel like I have something in my tooth. I hope it's not broccoli. Don't worry, it's not broccoli. <laughs> any broccoli it could be some nachos or a brownie <laughs> I made brownies my mom's here and we love nuts and our brownies like walnuts right and everybody else hates it so I knew my mom was coming so I bought this big bag of walnuts with these giant walnut pieces in it not like chopped up ones like giant ones so my mom just had two brownies I only had one <laughs> but we've been eating brownies yeah and then Haley's like why do you put nuts in it? I'm like, you don't live here, and me and Grandma like nuts. So, yeah. Anyways, um, I have prizes. So, make sure you're clicking on that like button. Also, click on that share button. Someplace on your screen right now, you can share this video, and that really, really helps me out. I have prizes to give away. We also had, remember my challenge? Um, Let's see, where did that card go? Ooh. I know it's right here. Oh, remember this? Remember this beauty? Ah, yeah, this was, oops, <laughs> here we go. This was the challenge that I put up for everybody to make one of these and share it on our Facebook group. And if you guys go searching for that, you'll find it. There were some beautiful cards, really, really cool cards. So I've got prize, I've got a prize drawing for that. So first of all, the first way that you can win a prize, <laughs> Peggy said she just made brownies too. Oh, I love brownies. First way you can win a prize is by leaving a comment. And you're gonna want to, oh my gosh, who just said that? Somebody just said brownies aren't even worth eating if they don't have walnuts in them. Verna, not worth eating brownies without nuts, just saying. I am with you, sister. <laughs> I love nuts in my brownies. I like nuts and cookies too. But it's a for Haley, it's a texture thing. You know, she's a very picky eater, and texture has a lot to do with it. It's, um, it's something that a lot of people experience, but I don't understand. Right? I don't. I don't. I can't get it. So, anyways, um, comment so you get entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. And I have some of the beautiful fine art gold sparkly ribbon. Oh, this is so so pretty. For last week's Facebook Live comment, Judith Sigler, so excited you won, from Madison, Wisconsin, you are going to get some of this ribbon in the mail. So you watch for your happy mail this week. 
Uh, I'm gonna set that right over there so I don't lose it. Next up for sharing this video, whether you share it on YouTube or share it on Facebook right here, you get entered into a drawing. I have an Abstract Beauty Ephemera Pack. These are so fun to design with. This is going out to Janice Kellerzon of Oaktown, Indiana. Congratulations. Oh, I'm excited. You'll get happy mail this week. And then, let me just keep looking at this for a second. Um, <laughs> next up, we have for placing an order in the last week. I have another drawing, and that person is going to win an Oceanfront stamp set. This is awesome. And if you guys remember... Bingo last week, we had cards and bingo, and we used the Oceanfront set. This one is Oceanfront. This is in combination with the Seize the Day bundle. Ah, this is going out to Vicki Zwiebel of Defiance, Ohio. Vicki, you're going to have this stamp set, and I know you're going to love it. You're going to love it, love it, love it. It's so fun. Okay, I'm going to leave that set right over there because I'll be able to show those to you again. We're going to be using both the Seize the Day and the Oceanfront stamp set along with some new products tonight. So, okay, next up for the, uh, what did I do with that card? Trifold Challenge. All you had to do was make a card and share a picture with us. And our winner is going to win the Natural Textures. This is a host exclusive stamp set, some really cool texture stamps. A pack, a whole pack of the hand penned designer series paper cut down to six by six. I have to do that so I can ship it to you. And the fine art ribbon. All three of these items are going out to Alora Weaver of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Woohoo! Congratulations. Oh my gosh, I love giving stuff away. And um, I the funniest story was, I remember, I think it was June Franco, and she lives in California. Her and her granddaughter, I believe, oh, it could have been her daughter, but I think it was her granddaughter because it was a child. And they were, they were sitting stamping and they were watching me on, I think, the big screen. And all of a sudden, they were watching the replay, and all of a sudden, I called her name as a winner, and they both just screamed. <laughs> and I think her husband came running in, like, what's going on? They're like, wow, they just called Grandma's name, and I won. And, oh, it was so funny. So anyways, I love stories like that, right? I love them. <clears throat> okay. I think we're ready to turn this baby around and start some stamping. I actually cleaned my office today. I have, if you guys ordered the Funfold Dahlia Days class, it is sitting over there. It is ready to be sorted and packaged up. I have everything cut and in order. So I'll be doing that tomorrow. I'll get those out of here tomorrow. If you did not order the Dahlia Days um, class, it's nine different fun folds. And can I say that, oh my good Lord, there's a million pieces for those cards because fun folds take a lot of pieces, right? But um, very, very cool, very cool class, nine different, I just thought I saw my niece's name come across here, nine different cards using the Dahlia Days stamp set, the, um, I'm looking at my notes over here, Flowering Fields Designer Series paper, uh, polished, oh, Polished dots, crinkled seam binding, and the expressions in ink ephemera pack. Now, if you order the option number two, if you already have the stamp set, um, the bundle, you get the polished dots, the crinkled seam binding, and the expressions in ephemera for $48. If you need the whole thing, it's $108. Gosh, it's getting hard to see. $108 for the bundle and all of that stuff, the DSP and the whatever. Anyways, this is an amazing class, you guys. These cards that Dina Barb and I made are like, whoa, they're pretty over the top. You will love them. Okay, just wanna let you know about that. I think, can you, can you still order the Dahlia Days bundle? Yes, that's in our mini catalog and our mini catalog goes until something. <laughs> Do you like that? 
it goes until someday. <laughs> Let me look. I, I can, you guys, I, I'm so bad. I can't remember any of these dates. Like, seriously, it's embarrassing. But I have my book right here. This is our, this is our mini catalog. And this mini catalog goes until June 30th. June 30th. So yes, the Dahlia days. All, all this stuff in here is still, you know, it's still good to go till June 30th. Unless we run out and we're not reordering. So who knows? Who knows when that, you know, nobody knows when that happens. Okay. Good question. I'm really glad that you asked that. June 30th. Thanks, Barbara. <laughs> I see that coming through now. Okay. I think we're ready to stamp. I'm going to turn my camera around and I see Hi, Elaine Rebeck. I'm happy to see you. Uh, oh, I almost pushed finish. Hang on, I can't find my turnaround thing. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. I think they moved it again. Darn Facebook, man. They're always messing with us. I kid you not. It's, it's challenging. Okay, hang tight. Let me get this all set up. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. You guys, do you think it looks straight? That looks pretty straight. I'm going to get out my piercing mat. We're going to talk a little bit about this. Oh, I am super duper excited about this. So starting on Tuesday when our new catalog goes live, these are our new in colors. They are so beautiful, you guys. I have been having so much fun. I, I use these a lot for my swaps. Um, I was stamping with the starry sky today, and we're going to be using that color. But when you join my team, whether you want to build a business or get a discount on your product, I will never push you to do any more than you want to do. It's completely up to you. I can see a gazillion team members that are on my team on this, on this video right now, and they will attest to you that I do not ever push you to do any more than you want to do. But I am certainly here to support you 100% to help you succeed in whatever that is that you want to do. If you want to be a discount shopper and you just want to take advantage of all the good things that Stampin' Up! gives to discount shoppers, I'm your person. I keep you updated on all this stuff. It's so much fun. If you want to build a business, you want to build a little business, you want to build a big business, I can give you the tools to help you along the way be successful. So you will get the in-color grid paper. This is brand new. Nice grid paper. A assorted pack of in color cardstock, all of the ink pads, and a pack of the designer series paper, six by six, when you join for only $99. You get to choose $125 in any product that you want out of that new catalog, any product you want, plus you get this on top of it, plus you get a paper pumpkin kit, you get a 20% discount. You get free shipping. There's so much stuff that goes with this. You get to be a part of my team for six months. After that six months period, Stampin' Up! does ask that people, you know, um, buy stuff. Okay, you have to remain active in order to continue after that six month period. And I have never had anybody tell me they really regret doing that. You're going to get a whole bunch of free product. This is worth $66 and something free, plus the $99 to the $125. That's $26 more free. So six and seven, seven days, I don't know, $90 or so in free stuff. It's the best. So I just wanted to let you know that you're going to want to wait until Wednesday, or I'm sorry, Tuesday, May 3rd, Tuesday. This promotion only goes through the end of May. So once our new catalog starts on Tuesday, on my blog, you're going to find a join button. It's just scroll down my blog post till you see the in color starter kit. There's going to be a button there to join and you can just go on there. You want to sit down and choose your $125 in product because you can't go over that amount. So um, you can't go over it by even a quarter and pay the difference. You have to stay $125 or below. All of this stuff is going to automatically come with your kit. So don't worry about adding that to it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. I am happy to help you. Um, I have a pretty substantial team of discount shoppers. Most of my team members are discount shoppers, but I also have some fabulous business builders and we have a blast. There is so much more to the inky world than what you guys get to see 
as a customer, as a um, uh, Facebook Live watcher, okay? There's a whole bunch of other stuff. And you're never, there's no downside to doing this. Give it a try. If it's not for you, that's fine. You can continue to be my customer. I will never get mad at you. There's no nonsense. So just wanted to let you know about that. Now, I am going to unleash. Oh, I have to show you guys what I was playing with today. This is a brand new bundle, Bottled Happiness. It's got a bottle punch. It's got this fabulous, fabulous stamp set. Oh my goodness, I love it, love it, love it. I was working on a card today that I'll be sharing with you, not tonight, but soon. So watch for that. Let me get out all my little goodies here. I'm going to just set these over to the side. I'm going to bring in my card stock. We've got a whole bunch of ink pads that we're using for this card because it's got lots of color on it. And a wink of Stella. And then I've got all my stamps mounted right up here. <laughs> Wendy says she must have this set. It's really fun, Wendy. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it is really fun. Okay, we've also got polished dots here that we're going to be using. Now, if you guys recall, um, we had bingo last week. And these are two of the cards from Bingo Night. This is another card that uses the same product bundle. So I wanted to make sure that I shared it with you because it's really, really cute. Okay. We've got Calypso Coral and Basic White is our cardstock colors. And let me get all my little bits and pieces out here. Uh, this is just a little scrap. We've got these two. Okay. Card base. Eight and a half by five and a half. And I am going to Burnish this edge. Now remember, all of these dimensions are in a downloadable project sheet that will be on my blog hopefully later tonight. Once this video is downloaded and then uploaded to YouTube and it gets approved, then I can put it on my blog and I post all this stuff. There is a, you can print out a project sheet that tells you um, all the details and has pictures and dimensions and all the products that I use. So you know what color ink, what color cardstock, you know, what was that tool called that she used? It's all going to be in there. Okay, then we have a scrap of Calypso Coral. I feel like it's dark. Does it seem dark to you guys? Oh, this light isn't on. Hang on. Why did that go out? Hang on. Oh, I pulled it out. Okay. It did seem dark. We've got two pieces of basic white. These are four by five and a quarter. Both of them are. And let me find this. Did I? Oh, and we're going to be using the frayed ribbon. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is do the frayed ribbon because this is pretty cool. All right. I attempted to do this the other night, but I was rather confused. <laughs> if you guys watched Bingo, you know what I'm talking about. So I've got this. Um... You know, just a little bit longer than this white piece. And now what I'm going to do with this ribbon, one end will fray very nicely. The other end will not. So if you try to pull a string from this end, it gets stuck like that. But if you keep going from this end, it just frays and frays and frays. And it's pretty crazy. So there's a lot of static here tonight. I'm going to fray this down to about here. Okay, so now I'm just going to leave this and we're going to use this ribbon like this. So hang tight. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to cut this piece off that I frayed. And you can also use this for stuff, which we did the other night for our bingo cards. Okay, I'm just going to set this aside. Oh, by the way, this is my host code. This is a new code. So if you plan on placing an order with me and your order is under $150, please use this code. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I want you to have those. The other thing that I have happening as of May 3rd when the new catalog goes live is I will have an ordering special. And, oh, I can't remember what it was. Um, hang on, I've got some. Oh, I'm pretty sure it's these glassy dots with the $75 order. But don't mark up. It'll be on my blog. I'm not going to tell you guys because I don't want to give you the wrong information. Okay. 
So we've got that ready to roll. We're gonna do our stamping on our front layer here. And where's our Calypso Coral is going to be our ink color. Ooh, Tana says that she had cabbage burgers. Is that what you said? That sounds very interesting. Okay, here comes our sentiment. Wishing you oceans of happiness. And I'm just going to put that right over here. Ooh, that turned out really good. And you know what? I want to put that more in the middle of this piece. Hang on. I'm going to put that. Let me stand up. Oh, that looks great. And then I'm going to take some of these little polka dots. Hang on. I'm going to take my sweater off because I'm having a hot flash. <laughs> I know. I'm not alone. Where, Wendy? Look at, I got my spray here. Hang on, I'm not gonna spray it in my eyes like I did the first time I used it. Ooh, that does cool you off, it's really nice. Wendy's on here watching, she gave that to me. Um, I'm going to grab my paper trimmer here. I'm just, I could use my scissors, but I'm pretty anal about these types of things, so I'm just gonna cut this. So just however big your sentiment is, you wanna just cut like a square, or kind of rectangle-y looking thing. Okay. Then we're going to take these little polka dots. These are like little water bubbles or sand. And we're just going to stamp these around. I don't know what's going on with this piece. It's got like a little ridge on it. I don't like it. Like it got caught in something. There we go. Now it's crooked. Good grief. Let me just grab another piece here. Sorry, you guys. We could <laughs> we could do this all night, right? Here we go. I'm not going to put a card together that is crappy. <laughs> it's just not how I roll. Okay, now we can cut this. And again, I'm just making this a little bit bigger than my than my sentiment. Doesn't really matter what size it is. Oh, I'm going to cut more than that off. And there we go. Okay. Okay, sorry. I don't know if my paper trimmer will recover from that, but it just fell off my shelf onto the floor. <laughs> and I have another one, so don't worry. <laughs> oh my good Lord, I'm so sorry for the racket. Holy cow. Okay, so we've got our little polka dots on here. <laughs> you guys can laugh with me, right? Yeah, the whole arm is not even on it anymore. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to take our Mango Melody. Let me recover from that. <sighs> yeah. And we are going to stamp one of these little starfish. Aren't they cute? They have like a lot of detail in them too, which makes them really pretty. And this is ready. This is ready. We're going to be die cutting the starfish. So we've got that. We've also got um, a scrap here. And we're going to take our crazy looking octopus. This guy is so cool looking. And stamp him calypso coral on calypso coral so look at how cool that is right and there's a die for him so we'll get that out just like this and now we're going to do our front and our inside so we're going to get all the stamping done here oh i think Hang on a second. I think that our inside uses the jellyfish. I couldn't remember what these were called. <laughs> like, what are these things? <laughs> They're jellyfish. <laughs> and my um, my scrolling wasn't working on my, my comments weren't working on my um, YouTube live the other night when we had cards and bingo. So it wasn't until afterwards that I saw that jellyfish, of course, that's what they're called. Look at how cool those are. Aren't they fun? Okay, I'm going to take and do a little bit of Wink of Stella on my jellyfish because that's going to make them just shimmer really pretty. 
Let me get a little bit more ink down in there. And it's gonna give them a really cool glimmer. Okay, then the other one that I'm going to, oh, we're gonna die cut this. We're going to use Coastal Cabana and we're gonna stamp this on our big white layer. This is the layer for the front. So we're gonna do a one. Oh, look how pretty that is, right? And then we're just gonna come in here. You can turn it around if you want to keep it very random. Two, just like that. This is like the water. This is the water, the ocean, the whatever. And I'm gonna leave the same border down here that I left up here in white. See how I did that? All right, we're gonna put this away. And, ooh, I think we're done with this too. We're gonna bring in mint macaron. And here comes our mint macaron. And again, this is Seize the Day. That's where this planty thing is coming from. And then we're also using some of the, oh, here it is. I'm like, where did that other stamp set go? We're also using the oceanfront, some of these for greenery. So just know that I've combined both of these. This is a fantastic duo to have together because there's just so many great ideas. So I'm just going to stamp and stamp. So I stamped once, I stamped again. Uh, maybe I'll just come down here and stamp again like that. You know how the um, sea, uh, like leafy stuff is just so all over the place? That's what I'm trying to accomplish here. It's usually pretty thick and pretty crazy and here we go. We'll do a few of these. We'll maybe do one a little bit bigger. We're just gonna keep kind of filling these in. Again, this is Mint Macaron ink. And I'm gonna come down here. We're gonna put in a whole bunch of weedy things because why wouldn't you? <laughs> maybe right there. Isn't that cool looking? Yeah, okay. So we're done with that. All right, now we're gonna die cut these things. So we've got our octopus, we've got our starfish. And once we get those done, we're going to add a little, oops, I get this out of the way, a little bit of Wink of Stella. I love this mango melody. It's just like the prettiest color for a starfish. What do you guys, what do you guys think of that? Isn't that pretty? Look at how it's, can you guys see the sparkly? And then we're gonna do our octopus too. Now, the cool thing about this octopus, let me get some more stuff down here. You just push it and you'll see some, maybe this one's, ooh, this one sounds empty. Let's see. Yeah, I think this one's done. Let me grab a different one. Don't worry, I have more. There we go. So yeah, I'm just gonna add some, some Wink of Stella to my octopus because that's gonna really set this off. It's such a cool look. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Here we go. Let me tip that for you. Look at how cool he is. Ha! All right, now. Mini dimensionals is what we're gonna need. These are pretty little. So I'm gonna bring in a mini dimensional right here. We are going to take this layer and we're going to attach, I just wanna spread this out again, this other end that I tried to do that didn't work out so good. I'll cut that off, don't need that. Isn't this like the coolest thing? It reminds me of a horse's tail or their mane, right? Okay, we're gonna take this and we're going to, oh, we might need to, hang on. We're gonna tip this over the end and I'm gonna just use a piece of tape. I'm gonna just wrap that right around the back you do this however it works for you, but this is what's gonna work for me. 
You might want to cut it a little bit longer. That would probably be a better idea. And now I'm going to take another piece of tape. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And I'm going to kind of corral it down here. And see what I did there? I just kind of trapped it under the tape. Look at how cool that is. Isn't that neat? Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, next, this little thing that gave me like almost a heart attack and broke probably my paper trimmer. I don't know if it's broke or not, but it didn't sound good, did it? God darn it. I do have another one though. I got two. Might be buying a new one with my pre-order, or not my pre-order, with my big order on Tuesday. <laughs> okay. We're going to put this right over that ribbon, just like that. Then we've got our little starfish down here, and I'm going to put that little bugger right down here. Cute so far, right? Now, this is a really cool thing with this. This is going to move. And you're like, what? Yeah, hang on. Let me get this stuff out of the way. Now, I need a punch that's a little bit bigger than this one. This is an old Stampin' Up! punch, but I needed a punch with a circle a little bit bigger than this, so this won't work. But maybe you have one at home that is bigger, okay? So I started looking at some of my dies to see, do I have some little circles that are bigger than that, but not, you know, ginormous? And there were some little circles in here someplace. Now I don't know where they are. I thought there was a set of little tiny circles in here. I'm sure there, is. oh yeah, look at, there's a little circle right there, but I don't know where the die is. Maybe, I, I don't know. Anyways, I just started digging through my dies. I needed to find some little circles. We've got, oh, this is a little oval. That would probably work. This is the suit and tie die. So you just wanna find a small circle. This is actually a little bit of an oval. We're gonna put that on our, oh, it'd probably be better if it was a little bit smaller than that. I really wish that I could find, where is that little circle? Oh, it's one of these little guys, so it probably wouldn't work. Okay, I'm gonna run that through. Hang on, let me, get my little machine in here. This is our little mini boss, I call it. It's a mini die cut and emboss machine. We have some folders that, you know, are smaller and they fit in here. Most of our dies, unless they're real big, fit through here. So it's just a nice option. I'm going to take some temporary tape and hold this in place because I don't want to have to redo this octopus if this moves. But a smaller circle would be perfect. I don't happen to have one. We're going to use this. I'm going to show you how you make do, right? Sometimes you just got to make do. Be gentle with this because there's not a heck of a lot left here. Put my die back. Where was that from? That was from the suit. Okay. All right, I hope this works. <laughs> gonna hope and pray. We're gonna get this onto our card front. Just like, make sure I get it opening the right way. Otherwise, I'll have to send it to my friend Sue if it opens up backwards. She likes those kind of cards. <laughs> and then we're gonna take our mini dimensionals we're going to put our octopus right up here. We're going to take our mini dimensionals and we're going to put it on this piece. I'm going to do two. I'm going to kind of squish these together so you can't see them from the front. And you're going to set this right back down. Okay, so you're going to put this right over. Look at, 
Isn't that genius? My, one of my team members, Mary Stroman, this was her idea. Isn't it cute? Yeah. So if you had like a little smaller rounder circle, it'd probably um, be a better choice. But yeah, here's a, oh, we got to get some dimension, or not dimensionals. We got to get some um, embellishments on here. Hang on. We have these fabulous polished dots. These were part of my bingo class. Now, um, if anybody missed bingo and you would like, I have one make and take packet left. It's $35 and it comes with these dots and the white. You get a whole roll of this cool white frayed ribbon and a half a pack of the vellum layering paper with your five make and takes all cut and ready to go for you. So if anybody wants that, you're going to find a link on my blog in my online classes where you can order, oh, hang on. You can order that last bingo, oops, hang on, bingo make and take. So yeah, you're kind of like just hanging, you're just hanging the, um, the octopus on that little circle that you cut out. Okay, and then I want one more, I'm gonna put one more right here in the center of my, ha, ah, where's my inside? Oh, here it is. I'm going to put this on the inside. What do you guys think? Isn't that cute? I was just giddy when I when I saw this card with that um, octopus that moves. I just think it's the cutest little thing ever. I just thought that was really nifty. <laughs> right? Super, super cute. Oh, here's the original card. Now, see, this is a little bit more rounded, and this is a little bit more of an oval. So... Yeah, pretty cool. I think it's neat. It made me giggle, and that's what I love, right? Okay, let me get all of this out of my way. I'll move this, move this, this. This again was the Oceanfront and Seize the Day bundle. The Oceanfront is just a stamp set. The Seize the Day is a bundle. And I used the little oval for my octopus from the suit and tie dies, but any little circle will work just fine. All right. Next up, technique. It's time for techniques. So I have an online technique club. And what that means is each month, I mail out a card and an instruction sheet with a technique on it that is used on the card. So you get a card, how to use the technique, and also a little instruction card so you can have like a whole library after, you know, you're in the club for a while. But when you join the club, you place, um, I think it's a $30 minimum order. Maybe it's $25. I don't remember the, 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 all the details are on my blog but you, you place a minimum $30 order for six consecutive months and you get a $30 product credit. Maybe that's 25, I don't know. And then each month I send you all of these things. I send you the technique, I send you a card made with the technique. It's just a lot of fun and it's a great way for you to amass a library of ideas that you can actually see. Okay, so, um, ooh, where'd our stamp set go? Right here. <gasps> if you are a discount shopper or Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you have the opportunity to pre-order this. We get to pre-order early, like usually a month in advance of new catalogs coming out. And this is the one that I'm gonna use. It's called Brood For You and Brood Dies. This is a fun, fun, um, set. Now, I look at this as a masculine set, but you could definitely use it. It's got wine in here. You could use it for anything you need. You, iced tea, even if you wanted to. There's just a glass. So, um, But I like to make man cards. So I've got Mary Merlot. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm going to get that folded in half and burnish that edge good. I've also got clear embossing powder here. I've got Versamark and Stazon ink, as well as 
Tuxedo Black ink. This is our metallic, brushed metallic cardstock. Now, I'm going to do a black ice technique, but um, this is brushed. This is metallic brushed cardstock, and this comes in three different colors. We've got bronze, copper, and gold, okay? And you get two sheets, 12 by 12, of each one of these. We also have silver foil. We have... Um, oh wait, this is what it's called. The Silver Foil Specialty Pack, which has got different shades of silver in it that are so pretty. Um, any of the foil papers will work for this technique. I just wanted you to know that any of these will work for the technique. Okay, do I have an inside layer? I don't think I do. Hang on, I gotta grab a, an inside. Okay, here we go. We've got a scrap, we've got a little half inch strip. We're gonna get going here. So, uh, where's, my, oh, I'm like, where's my stamp set? It's right here. Oh, and we're also using crushed curry. So first I'm gonna bring in my black. We're gonna stamp a couple glasses, just like that. And then we're gonna stamp the foam, a couple of those. And there's dies, corresponding dies that will die cut these. Uh, before we do that, we're gonna use our crushed curry. I, I, I got out my stamp and blend markers to color in the beer, but then I realized there's a stamp that does it for you. So that's a huge win, right? We're gonna stamp crushed curry for our beer. Just like that, easy peasy. Then I'm going to make this a, it says another round for your birthday. I'm using the black and I'm just going to stamp that right on there. Oh, that's a little close to the top. Let's see if I can do a better job. Oh, that looks much better. And then we've got our inside layer. I'm gonna bring in, now this, this happy birthday is from Celebrating You. This is a sentiment set in the um, Spring Mini catalog, the JJ catalog. And it's got like just about everything in it. Baby, Easter, proud, thank you, congrats, Mother's Day, Father's Day, anniversary, love, uh, birthday, the whole deal. It's just like a really nice sentiment set. So I'm going to stamp my happy birthday. And then I want to do just a glass of beer in here. And I'm going to add my crushed curry and my little foam dripping over the top here. Yay! Did you see how easy that all was to stamp? Because they're photopolymer, love that. Okay, we can get this right on the inside of our card. Now there will be a free download that you can get on my blog for this card as well as that octopus card. So just know that you'll be able to print it out or just save it to your device. Um, oops, come back here. We are going to dies. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some dies. We are going to use our glass to die cut our glasses of beer. And then we have the little foam deal. I will die cut both of those. So we're gonna die cut all this stuff. And here they come. So we have both of these here. And I am going to, oh, let's get our envelope decorated up and then we'll put our ink away because um, we're done with the colored ink here as soon as we can do that. Let's do, I'm just going to put a glass of beer on here because why wouldn't you? Decorate up your envelope. What guy isn't going to like to open up his mailbox and see a glass of beer? <laughs> yeah. There we go. So that's our, that's our envelope. Okay, now I'm going to take these and I'm going to add a little bit of glue to the to the um, the foam that's sloshing down the front of the glass, and that's going to connect it right there. <laughs> Just that little tiny—it's almost like a little paint drip—reminds me of. 
And we'll put that one right on there. How cute are these, you guys? Do you love them? I love these. Now, besides this glass of beer, there's also a jug. So that's cool. You could do root beer if you wanted to. And a mug, which is really neat. And of course, these stamp inside to make the liquid colored. So it's pretty sweet. Okay, so here's our two glasses. Then let's see, which one is this one straighter? I'm just going to cut this off and we will get this ready to go. I'm gonna do a little flag on the end and some dimensionals. Um, I think I should use, hang on, I'm gonna use the baby ones. Our mi oh, that's not minis. Where did my minis go, you guys? Come on, Kelly. Here they are. <laughs> there we go. Here's the minis. All right, so we've got all of this ready to rock. Now, here comes our technique. Are you guys ready for the technique? I know I'm ready for the technique. I am going to close this up. Now, when you use this technique, you need stays on ink, and that's because it is a um, permanent ink, and this is non-porous paper. So if you stamped on this with other ink, it won't dry, but stays on will dry on non-porous surfaces. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of seal. I just put a little seal in here. I wanna hold my piece stru um, sturdy. I want it to stay. Oh, that's gonna wiggle around. Let's try that again. I'll put one over here and one over there. This, by the way, is my piercing mat. I just wrap it with printer weight paper and scotch tape that on here. This is my stamping surface. Okay, we're gonna take this stays on and we are going to drag it. I've got it just tipped up a little bit and I'm dragging it. Can you see those fine lines? I wanna get that up there at the edge too. Do you see how that, it looks like lines all through it? Okay, now, you can stamp an image on here. And what I chose for my image is the O oh, alias. <laughs> I think this is really funny. So I'm going to use my stays on ink. You still have to stick with the stays on ink here. And you also have to be careful and hold your hand steady because this foil, this brushed cardstock is slippery. So you have to kind of, you notice how I'm kind of balancing, making sure that my hand stays steady and it doesn't slide around. That's what I'm doing there. Okay, so I chose to do that. You could stamp anything you want, flowers, but not for a beer card, you know, obviously. Let's keep your head on. <laughs> okay, then you can set this aside and let it dry, or you can hit it with the heat tool a little bit. Stays on dries very quickly, so you don't have to worry about that too much. It's gonna dry it a little bit. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our embossing powder ready. This is clear embossing powder. This comes in a three pack with um, the basics, black, white, and clear. This is clear. Now I'm gonna take my Versamark ink pad and you want to ever so lightly just drag this across your layer. And so the reason why I have it taped down here so that I don't have to touch it because you don't want the oils and all the things from your fingers to get on here. It's just an easier way to do it. Okay, here we go. And now we're going to add, now it's going to look like your whole entire piece is covered with embossing powder. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about anything until you get it heat set and then you, there, there's nothing to worry about because it's over. <laughs> but see how kind of crazy that looks? You can always add more to it if you feel like you don't have enough embossing powder on here. And now we're going to heat set this. You can see the embossing powder getting glossy. That means it's heat setting. Oh, 
you guys, I forgot to tell you about Molly. I'll tell you when I'm done with this card. Don't let me forget to tell you about Molly. Here we go. Look at this. That is called black ice. Now, it's called black ice, and it's really cool. You can do this on copper, gold, silver. Um, you can use any of the metallic colors. But one thing that I thought was really cool is since we're pairing it up with the brood for you with beer, it's almost like the sweating of a glass. So this texture I thought was pretty cool to go along with some beers because it's almost like the glass is sweating, right? Like a frosty mug of beer. So I thought that was a cool um, technique to use for the beer. That's why I, I'm like, oh, let's do this because that's kind of like a frosty mug and a glass sweating. So here goes our layer. Oh, this, by the way, was um, I don't three and a quarter. I don't know where my dimensions went. Three and a quarter by four and a half. And then I'm putting it on crumb cake, which you could put whatever color you want. I'm just trying this because, I don't know, it's a manly color. Um, crumb cake is three and a half by four and three quarters. And then I'm going to add this to my Mary Merlot card front. Oh, thank you guys so much. Oh, hi, Chris. I'm happy to see you on here. And Betty, too. Um, yeah, I think it's just a really cool technique. And like I said, I did this way back in 2018. It was one of my, I think one of my first Facebook Lives that I ever did was with this technique. So it's been a long time, but it's still really cool, right? Okay, now this one, I think I'm going to raise this up on some dimensionals. So let me grab this one. And this one, so we've got one glass of beer on there. And then we're gonna just put one more. I'm gonna put this up just a little bit higher. There we go, okay. And then we've got our little banner. And I'm gonna pull this dimensional off <laughs> and just add a little bit of glue there. I don't need a dimensional on that side because it's gonna go on this glass of beer that has already popped up but I want my banner to end up over here. I want it to kind of be going off the side of this because I just thought that was a really cool look. What do you guys think? And then, last but not least, I thought I had grabbed, oh, we have some of these. I wasn't sure, these are brand new. These are called Rustic Metallic Adhesive Back Dots. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use those. Um, I also have some other cards to share with you using some different ones, but I think, I think I'm going to grab my black mat dots, if I could find them quick, and I don't know where they are, oh, here they are, they were in a different drawer. Oh. Grab these black matte dots because I think those will look pretty cool on this card. And then I'll show you the other two cards that I made with some different colors. Because you know I always like to do that. I'm always kind of playing around. Oh yeah, I like these black matte dots. These are these are a good man card embellishment, right? They're just very manly. There's no foof there. Isn't that just so cool? Now this was the, I think this was the bronze of the three colors of metallic cardstock. I think that's, this is this one. And then we have gold and um, copper. So this is, I think the bronze one. All right, so this was one card with its cute little envelope. Then we have this one. Now this used Crush Curry and I used a black mat and this is the copper and you can see that cool cool black ice technique on there, right? So that's another one. Now on this card too, I use the adhesive backed hexagons. You can see some little black hexagons on there because again, masculine, it's a perfect little embellishment. And then here's one. 
that uses the new um, Starry Sky. This is one of our new in colors. And I did this one. Now this is another birthday card, but this one says, I owe you one or several. And then it's a thank you card in here. But for this, these embellishments, I use these brand new in color matte decorative dots on here because they matched my cardstock. So lots of new goodies coming your way, you guys. I'm super duper excited to start using some of these brand new products. Um, I am looking for, what are my other, I don't know where my other card went. It was, it was right here and now it is not, oh, here it is. I'm like, no, it's not here. Here's our cute little octopus. Yay. And it's still, still wiggling, still wiggling. Super fun. All right. How cool is that? Now. The other thing that comes with the online technique club is an instruction sheet like this. And you can see this has a little piece of the technique on here and then instructions and then it tells the video is posted on my blog on 5.1 so you could go watch a video tutorial. And now the nice thing about the stuff that I've been putting on my blog, there's a download so you can print out a whole sheet of instructions with photos and all the ingredients and dimensions. And then you have this, which has an actual, one of the techniques on it. You get this card and this in the mail when you belong to my technique club. So you get both of these, this you can keep, this you can use. So pretty cool, right? Now, if you have any questions about the online technique club, don't hesitate to ask me. Again, it is on my blog, www.astampabove.com. In the right-hand column, you're gonna find Online Technique Club, or if you scroll down at the bottom of each one of my posts is a link to get to that Online Technique Club. But each month, when you place your order, in the week after the beginning of the next month, this is going to come in the mail or a card with an instruction sheet and a technique sample. And I've had people in my technique club for years and they absolutely love it. And they have an entire binder full of technique ideas. So these are our old wooden cases. And here's just some of those technique ideas. Just all kinds of really, like here's a spinner card. We did ribbon, we did brush show. We did a faux um, frame, some glitter splatter. I mean, just all kinds of really cool technique ideas. And then this one will go right in there too. So I'll be able to have that. All right, if anybody has any questions about that, don't hesitate to ask me. I will, if you can't find the link, you can email me at kelly at estampabove.com. I will be happy to send you, email you the link to the online technique club details. As always, you guys, I always appreciate your orders. This is my current host code. It's brand new. I just set it up last night. Watch for a new kit class coming out soon. Barb, Dina, and I will be having a new online class in the month of May. I believe we're using the T Boutique, so that's exciting. And we have the catalog kickoff starting on May 3rd, it lasts about two weeks. It's all pre-recorded. If you would like to join that, it's only $15. I gave out all the details at the beginning of this video. So if you missed that, go back and just check it out. Seven different live presentations. So much, so much stuff. It's only $15 or free if you're a Stamp Happy Academy uh, website member. And I see Molly, 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 Molly. Okay, so today is Anna's birthday. That's Molly's mom. And she was up bright and early at the ER with Molly because Molly's got croup, you know, that coughing where you can't stop coughing or whatever. And so she had to take Molly into the ER and they kept her there for a couple hours because they give you a breathing treatment with some steroids. So Granny and Molly are both on steroids. <laughs> I'm still on my steroids, but I'm not as shaky as I was. So I must be kind of um, they put me on a higher dose the first week, and then now the second week is lower. But anyways, back to Molly. Not It's not about Kelly right now. It's about Molly. And um, 
Yeah, so they had to keep her for a couple hours because they do that with kids if they give her, if they give them steroids. And then Anna went home with her and she was doing much better. But poor, poor Molly. Molly gets sick a lot. She's just one of those kids that has um, a, a not the greatest immune system. So she catches all the crud. And I just thought I would pass that information along to you just in case some of you are friends with Anna and I didn't know if she put anything out there um, on social media about Molly or not, but it's Anna's birthday today. Molly was in the ER. Everybody's home now and doing fine. And I, I sent Anna like 10 different Snapchat videos of me using filters and singing happy birthday to her. I was a hot dog. I was a possum. I was a duck. I was a chick with my foot on an egg that was also talking. It was hysterical. <laughs> yes, we are going to share some mail. Thank you for that reminder. I've got it sitting right here, you guys. Now, all of these projects will be loaded on my blog a little bit later tonight. I have to take this video and download it to my computer upload it to YouTube, and then they have to do checks on it before they um, post it or allow me to post it. So that's what's been taking um, a tremendous, like longer than I think it should. Anyways, here comes, this is from Debbie Foster. And oh, thank you guys so much for your well wishes for Molly. Uh, she watches my lives a lot and she could even be at home watching right now, but she'll watch the replay and she loves <laughs> She loves to hear all the comments, so that means a lot. Yeah. Um, if you go to Kelly's blog, there's a link, Wendy. Wendy, you're always wonderful. Thank you for the help. Okay, so this, look at this beautiful card. This is from Debbie Foster. And this was a thank you so very much for the Get Well cards. Debbie was very, very sick. And um, I sent her a couple Get Well cards because I know the power of getting a card in the mail just makes people happy, and I like to do that. I like to make people happy. So, Debbie, you are very welcome. Look at her beautiful card. Is that not absolutely gorgeous? It is gorgeous. Thank you so much for your pretty card. Next up, we have Becky Busca. Look at this. Oh, my Easter cards are in here too, you guys. Look at how cute that is with those little chicks and the little chick. This paper is perfect. Happy Easter. Thank you so much. And look at her envelope. Very pretty. Oh, Debbie too. Debbie, gosh, you guys, you are doing so well with your envelope decorating. And then we have, look at here. This one is from Deb. No, I'm sorry, Valerie Albanese. Look at how pretty this is. <gasps> Beautiful. Thank you, card. Absolutely gorgeous. This one is coming from Sarah Thibodeau. I think I said that right, Sarah. You know I'm terrible at it. Look at how pretty that is. I saw there was a guy on the NFL draft. His last name was Thibodeau. And as we were watching the draft, I said, oh, I have Sarah Thibodeau. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> so your name came up in case your ears were ringing. Look at that. Happy Easter. So pretty. I love this. This is a trifold, you guys. Very cool. So... This part right here is one card, right? That's one card. And then this part right here is just another card cut a little smaller and put in like this. Isn't that neat? Very nice, Sarah. Very, very cool. And of course, we have a decorated envelope. Yay! Next up is... Hang on, I gotta see. Oh, goodness, I can't get this one open. Here we go. And that's on the back. This is from... <gasps> Christine, I don't know your last name. Here we go. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, she drew these lines around here, and I just love when people do that. I think that's the coolest thing. These flowers are so beautiful. She got happy mail from the January team meeting. Yay! Look at how neat her handwriting is. Like, it's almost perfect. So this is from Christine. Thank you, Christine, so much. And she also... Did a little stamping on her envelope. Oh, and look at look at that. We got some more stamping on the envelope. Okay, next. This is from Arlene Schmidt. Arlene sent me a Easter blessings card. Very, very pretty. That is so nice. Thank you so much, Arlene. You are the sweetest. And let's see. Hang on. Something's got stuck here that shouldn't be. Okay, here we go. 
This is from uh, Courtney Austin Darp. That's a, I could, I said that though. I, I said it right. Austin Darp. Look at the pretty daffodils. I love this. This is just so pretty. It reminds me kind of like a pocket, doesn't it? Yes. Oh, she says you and your crew totally rocked the retreat. It was her first time and it won't be her last. The swag box was more than she could ever dream of and so much fun. Courtney, you are so sweet. You guys, she's talking about our spring retreat that we had. And this catalog kickoff I've been talking about is a pretty similar event, but different. So just know that it is pretty fantastic. All right, next up, we have Sandy Young with this beauty. Oh, I like what she did with that gold cord there, right? She's got Wink of Stella all over this fish. Very, very pretty. And this is congratulations on the new baby. Yeah, um, Dawson is getting really big. Like every time I see him now, it looks like he's growing by leaps and bounds. Okay, let me see if, let's see if I have, I know I have more mail, but let's see. Let's do just a few more cards and then we're gonna call it a night so I can get this video uploaded and go sit with my mama. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is. This is just beautiful. Absolutely. This is from Kim O'Brien. Kim, mm, so pretty. Love, love, love this. She says, thank you so much for all you do for your team. I have enjoyed everything and think you are great. Oh, you're so sweet. Have a wonderful Easter. Thank you so much, Kim. You're, that is so sweet. <gasps> Look at this cutie patootie. This is from Terry Molino. I know, I don't know how to say your name right, Terry, but someday, I think I just like saying it my way. I think you're okay with it. I love what you did with the stripe and that little gold in there. Beautiful, beautiful, happy Easter. Look at the inside, you guys. That little strip of gold foil is so classy. Beautiful. Yeah, we had a really good Easter, by the way. This coming weekend is Mother's Day weekend. Next weekend is Mother's Day weekend, and we're planning to go to South Park because Jared... It's his long weekend off. He always works on Saturdays, but this coming weekend, he has Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. So we're going to go up to South Park with the babies and see how that goes. So wish me luck. <laughs> Look at how pretty this is. This is from Sherry Simon with her Easter blessings. Yay. Love that. Love, love, love. Perfect. Okay, let me see. Let me see what else I got here. I have... Gosh, that's pretty. Okay. I think... Oh, I gotta get these out. There's some cards in here that shouldn't be. I think that's it. I'm gonna call it a night and get these cards. Um, I've got most of my photos done. My blog post is ready. My project um, free downloads are ready except for a photo of this last card that I made. I just need to do this one. Okay, you guys. Once again, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your evening to spend it with me. You guys know I love spending Sunday nights with you. Thank you so much. Debbie says, happy birthday to Anna and get well wishes to Molly. Aw, you guys are so sweet. Molly's going to absolutely love that. I want you to give the Black Ice a try. It is pretty darn cool looking. I wish I had the cards that I made back in 2018 because they were really neat too. There was like an old pickup truck that was just like a, a line art that I stamped in the background and then something over here. They were very cool. But if you'd like any other information about my online technique club and you can't find it on my blog right here, let me know. Please make sure you give me a thumbs up. Click on that share button. Um... And let me know if I missed any questions that you might have. I'm always happy to answer them. You can email me at kelly at a stamp above.com. Don't forget, new catalog Wednesday, May 3rd. Be there, be square. Can't wait. Thank you guys so much. Have a great week. Bye-bye.